Hey guys, today we gonna talk about web sockets. So, what is the web socket? A web socket is a persistent connection between a client and a server. Web sockets provide a bi-directional, full duplex communications channel that operates over HTTP through a single TCP slash IP socket connection. Or in other words, we can say that it's a protocol for creating a fast two-way channel between a web browser and a server that overcomes the limitations of HTTP, offering low latency communications between a user and a web service. Why you should use it? Because HTTP has certain limitations. HTTP is a web protocol that take a request to the server from the client and take response from the server and close the connection. But in WebSocket, a handshake is made and both server and client initial is the WebSocket connection in both ways. WS colon slash slash is a scheme used by WebSocket and WSS is secure WebSocket. Now, let's get into the header of the WebSocket to understand it better. First of all, the client sends a GET request to the server. After that, it T waits for the server's reply. The reply must have an HTTP 101 switching protocol's response code. The HTTP 101 switching protocol's response indicates that the server is switching to the protocol that the client requested in its upgrade request header. In addition, the server must include HTTP headers that validate the connection was successfully upgraded. Now, this is what WebSocket protocol looks like the first one is fin but this one bit is set if this frame is the last data to complete this message. RSV1, RSV2, RSV3, 1 bit each. Upcode, 4 bits. Upcode defines the interpretation of the payload data. Mask, 1 bit. It defines whether the payload data is masked. Next is payload length. It's used to define the length of the payload. It can be 7 bits, 7 plus 16 bits, or 7 plus 64 bits. Masking key. All frames sent from the client to the server are masked by the 32-bit value that is contained within the frame. This field is present if the mask bit is set to 1 and is absent if the mask bit is set to 0. Now, finally, I want to tell you how to close the WebSocket connection. To close a WebSocket connection, a closing frame is sent. In addition to the upcode, the close frame may contain a body that indicates the reason for closing. If either side of a connection receives a close frame, it must send a close frame in response, and no more data should be sent over the connection. Once the close frame has been received by both parties, the TCP connection is torn down. The server always initiates closing the TCP connection. That's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.